Hey guys, so I'm back with my niece. We're going to do her makeup today for Mother's Day. Um, no, she's not a mom. She's not allowed to be. Um, okay, so we're going to start with her eyebrows again. So I always do that. I always get this side instead of the side that I need. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna get your eyebrows done soon, hopefully. Okay, so can you guys see me? Yeah, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna just line them up. So I'm going to go in with a little brush like this to line her stuff with. I'm just using a concealer to line her eyebrows. I know in the last video I didn't do it this way. Her eyebrows aren't done, so it's a lot harder for me to shape them. Especially since I'm not used to her eyes. a little bit of my contact keeps moving <laughs> not used to these find those eyes oh, I forgot to grab the setting powder to be ready. Close your eyes. Let that sit for a minute. So she wanted to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, it's from the collection from the Vault. It's called Bling Boss. This is what it looks like. This is the collab that she has with Morphe. And um, yeah, she wanted to use this palette so this is what we're going to use oh where's the okay so what I'm gonna do is wipe away her the setting powder All right. probably didn't let that sit long enough but you know we're pressing for time right now Okay, so what we're going to do is go into Hush Hush, which is this color right here, and I'm going to use that as her transition shade. And since she has small lids, I don't need a big fluffy brush, so I'm going in with the M505 brush from Morphe, and I'm just windshield wiper motion. This color is a little light, so I have to build it up. So hard for me to do my right hand. I'm going in. 
more time. Spread that out. Okay. So we're gonna go in with the M433 brush and I'm going to take Spark, which is that color right here, and I'm gonna go into her outer corner with this and then up a little bit. The motion, which is like this, and yeah, I hope that made sense right there. And then, let's see, should I put, I kind of want to deepen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with a blender brush. I don't know where I got this brush from, it doesn't tell me. It just says blender. So I'm gonna go in with Rockstar and see if I can get it like, like right here. Because her eyes are so small that they don't need a lot. And then now I'm gonna go in with, hmm. So we're gonna go in with pizzazz. I think that's how she was saying, yeah. I'm just gonna take my finger, go right here. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this color. Blissy, I guess it is. And then I'm gonna go into her inner corner with this color. It doesn't really work well with brushes, so. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to take a, um, brush to put her highlight on for her brow bone which is just going to be this brush right here and I'm going to take my Ofra highlighter Rodeo Drive and I'm just going to do her brow bone turn this one a bit So I'm just gonna go back in with uh, the M505 brush and I'm just gonna blend this right here. Okay, so now we're going to come back and show you the rest. We're gonna do the rest of the look and yeah, we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is her completed look. Um, all we did was did the bottom and did her foundation and concealer and we just set it. We did her hair, obviously. Um, so yeah, we used the Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty um, foundation and we used the, oh, Joan, I forget the name of the concealer that we used. And then all I did was set it with the Derma Blend. We went in with, um, we just did the same thing that we did at the top to the bottom of her, um, her bottom lashes and stuff like that. Um, we went in with the highlighter, uh, uh, Ofra Rodeo Drive and yeah, so that is her completed look. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you click the notification button down below, you can get all my future uploads. So we'll see you next time. Bye.